Ukraine owes Russia a lot of back payments for gas that it's uh, bought and didn't pay for. Uh, then Ukraine tried to replace uh, Russian coal with uh, South African coal, and it didn't pay for that either. So nobody will sell to Ukraine because it's the most corrupt country in Europe. Uh, and R Russia made a loan to Ukraine from the Russian sovereign fund, and there was a statement in this loan that if Ukraine's debt rises above, I think, something like 80% of its uh, GDP, the entire $5 billion loan falls lo uh, due immediately. So Ukraine may suddenly have to give its entire gold stock to Russia if, if the IMF doesn't give it enough. So the IMF did not give Ukraine enough to pay the debts that it owes Russia, and it's keeping it on a very short leash so that it could control it. Now, what kind of democracy can you have if your government is always in debt, always obliged to let your economic policy being dictated by the IMF and the World Bank, which means by the US Treasury, which means basically by NATO, by the American State Department politically. Uh, if you're kept on a short debt leash, democracy becomes meaningless. But this is only until the debts are paid off. Then once the debts are paid off... <laughs> but they can never, they, uh, they, they owe so much money, they can never pay why, it off why? because they can't export. You, the way you pay off a foreign debt is to earn foreign currency. Either they export, and uh, Ukraine says, we're not going to export to Russia anymore. We're not going to export our resources to Russia so that it can invade us. We're not going to help its military industry. Uh, and nobody else wants their exports. So there's only one thing Ukraine has to export, half of its population. If, if you're between the ages of 20 or 30, you're going to be exported. The IMF crushed democracy in Ukraine, crushed any chance of Ukrainians to make their own policy. Finance is basically achieving what war used to achieve. Finance is the American mode of warfare, uh, not in the military sphere, but purely financial. It's uh, America's form of warfare against democracy.